Good day to you. Oh, over at my mom's again today. It's time for a little coffee break. Or I guess it's just a break. Just uh, doing some messing around here. I got this little. Uh, this is a little Philco transistor radio. I'm not sure when it was made. Really don't know very much about it, other than it's uh, transistorized. It says seven transistors, which is kind of ironic back then. That was a big deal. So, well, it's a pretty good size radio. A little bit bigger than my hand because it's a portable, for lack of a better word. It's only really got two controls. It's got on-off volume and station selector. kind of give the age away of the thing because it's got the old uh, civil defense logos on it. There were certain stations that were designated civil defense stations. Just kind of cool. It's got kind of a leather body to it and it's genuine top cowhide with the, apparently the genuine top cowhide logo and it actually has an earphone jack. Right there. Just some stitching. It's got a little handle on it, but the handle's seen better days. It's trying to wear out right there. Oh, it's just um, riveted on with little clasps. I bet those D rings could come apart. Well, should we peek inside and see what we got here? Sorry, I don't have my tripod today, so you're going to have to kind of put up with this. Okay, here we go. Let's try this. Uh, well, here we go. Apparently it's a T76-12... Four. Make sure this center dual contact is upright. Some patents. Hmm. That's, oh, that's kind of interesting. The tag is on the chassis too, even though it isn't labeled real well. There's, huh? Why would that? There's a little kind of a strap there that's to keep the radio together. It's really not a terrible lot in here. There's the antenna loop stick. There's a couple of the transistors. See, it said it had seven transistors. Oh, there is some useful information. It's three volts and the IF is 455. Use leak proof leak proof Philco type P925 cells. They're D cells. Well, we can hunt those down. Not the Philco cells, but... Well, I don't see seven transistors. There's two. It must be the audio output section. There's three. And those appear to be... I don't know if you can see that or not. Keep zooming. Oh, there it goes. I don't know if you can read that or not. That actually says Philco on it. <laughs> there's three transistors. I'm missing four. Oh, there's another one. Four. Man, those things are reasonably tiny. There's five. Two more. Six. One more. Oh, there we go. It's kind of buried seven. There really is a lot in this thing. I mean, there's, oh, there's a couple. I guess there's three coils there. Oh, there's another coil right there. That's probably the local oscillator if I had to guess. It's kind of interesting that this is just a 3 volt radio. There's the little flap they were talking about right there. And okay, so and the volume controls there. The 
tuning is right here. And there's the two sections, local oscillator and RF. And there's a little coil, I assume for the speaker. Well, let's see, according to instructions, you put this D cell in first. Make sure the radio is turned on. And then this D cell. It's a little springy dingy back there. That's interesting. This appears to be cardboard with some stitching all over it. Flip her over and see if it'll fire up. Put you down here. Contact. Yeah. That was a pop. Not a good sign. There's a pop, or at least some. Oh, how about. Get out of your current car. I highly recommend make. To take us to be with him. Have a sandwich. Sober up. They don't hand out plaques for common sense and good judgment. Cool. They hand out tickets for the 2.2 40 minutes later on the stretch I don't know road. if the YouTube police, copyright police, will jump on me for that or not. Russell Wilson enough credit today. His common sense. Darn it. This is pass rush. Hmm. It takes a little bit to turn on, that's kind of mysterious. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 5, 6, 7, oh, that ain't coming on. Hmm. Wilson, 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 two TDs, no pick, 72% completion, 18 to 25. Now what do we got here? One station. Two. There's an offhand dodges. Five. Six. It's kind of cool. Looks like the only thing there. I still don't understand why it doesn't come on right away. Maybe the local oscillator isn't firing up. I'm not sure how you would work on that radio. I guess you. I wonder if that knob comes off without a fight. Yeah, it looks like it might. Slide it back on. I think I'm gonna leave that baby alone. It's kind of cute. Hmm. Old transistor radios are kind of fun. If you if you were gonna collect old radios and were a little cramped for space, I have a couple friends that just dearly love to collect radios, but they've got no space. Um, I suggested to both of them one time, I said, why don't you collect small transistor radios? There are tons of them. You can find them at garage sales cheap. People don't think they're worth anything. And there's some just amazing variations and stuff. I've got a, I think that's a General Electric. Instead of a permanent magnet speaker, 
it has a field coil speaker, which means that there's a uh, an actual electrical magnet to make the the magnet for the speaker. It's a pretty cool little radio. I'll have to dig it out. I, mean, I think I seen it on the shelf the other day. I was thinking about it. But yeah, if you had to have a, a radio collection or a cramp for space, had a small apartment or something, this is something you could probably pack up in several boxes. You could have a lot of different models, different uh, variations and displays and stuff. There's, you know, kind of these little tabletops. There's really small transistor pocket radios. There's some really small ones. Sometimes they're little square kind of cube radios. They run on funny voltages. Those would make an interesting collection. So there you go. There's the Philco. Um, I think that was the T. Look at that again. The T76-124. That apparently must be all germanium transistors. I think I might try and find a... Uh, schematic for that, see if I have any luck. God, this thing doesn't have hardly any components. Well, we got one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. There's sixteen resistors. There's seven transistors. There's one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, about eight or nine capacitors. There's an RF choke. Hmm, that's interesting. There's four little coils. There's that loop stick, the speaker. There's really not a lot of components here. I mean, if there's If there's 50 components here, count the batteries, I'm exaggerating. It's pretty cute. A loop stick antenna is pretty interesting. It has a number of different windings. I wonder if it's got a coil for the oscillator wound on there. Well, that doesn't make sense. But... Hmm. Hmm. Well, there you go. A little Philco transistor made out of top grain cowhide. Anyway, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them. If you'd like to subscribe, the button is right over here. It's just a click away. Right there. Have a groovy day. Take it easy.